Hey everyone, my name is Aaron at Redbird Speed. Today I'm going to be talking about your leaking differential. What's causing it? I got five reasons here as to why it could be leaking. Let's start off here. Number one, pressure. So, probably the most common cause of this is overfilling the rear with diff fluid. So, uh, most applications are going to need about three bottles of gear wheel. It's probably going to take roughly two and three quarter. There should be a hole in the side of your rear end. Get your finger in there. Feel If you can feel the gear wheel, you're good to go. If you're a tad under, that's perfect. If you fill it up and let it seep out of there, that's fine too. But if you got like a fill port on the top of your housing and you put four, five, six quarts of gear wheel in there, I know you think I'm crazy. I've seen it all. You got housing seals blowing out, pinion seals blowing out. You get all kinds of problems if you overfill it with fluid. So make sure you're not building pressure. Another way you can build pressure, there should be a, every rear end has to have a way to breathe. So there should be some kind of port, you know, you got like a hose here where, you know, air can freely flow in and out of there and keep pressure from building up in the rear. If you have too much pressure, blow oil past your seal here, out your pinion here, probably the most common reason why rear ends are leaking. All right, number two, seals. Got a couple of seals here. One being a housing end right here. There's got to be some way. You got oil sloshing up the tubes here. There's got to be some way to keep the oil from getting past that housing end, getting past the bearing, and making it out. So some, some of these axles have a inner seal provision where you slide a seal in, tap it with a seal installer down to a provision where it stops and you slide the axle in, seal surface on the axle, keeps it from leaking. That's an extremely common option. Uh, another option would be like a, like a set 20 bearing with a lip seal that goes on, like a set 20 would be like a two piece bearing. So uh, there's a lip seal that goes on. So that actually seals from the outside and the gear oil actually goes up the tube and lubricates that bearing. So uh, if that seal and that, that lip seal is pinched, like if you don't put that seal on right, you don't press that bearing on right and it's crooked or something, you could pinch that seal and not get a good, not get a good seal there and have leaking right off the smoker when you install the axle. Uh, pinion seal right here. I would say probably a very common uh, issue with the pinion seal. Uh, some of these aftermarket seals, you put them in, um, they don't go in all the way or they're, they manufacture them to a different depth than OEM. So that's something you got to be careful of. Want to make sure that when you're installing that pinion seal, they're not bottoming out. If you got too much pressure pushing up against that pinion seal, it could cause a leak. All right, the third thing that could leak here, we got cover gasket. Uh, this gasket, this cover gasket, this could also be like a third member gasket in a nine inch. So what I like to do with those, I like to get a little high temp RTV, go around all the holes real well, go around both sides of the gasket before putting it on. That gets a good seal, keeps, keeps things from leaking. Uh, some cases, like if you've got a rear cover, like a chrome cover, and it's got a real slick finish and the RTV doesn't want to adhere to that finish, you might want to rough it up, keep, sand it down a little bit something to that RTV can adhere to it well. Uh, best RTV on the market, I'm no way affiliated with Permatex, but they got this stuff called the Rye Stuff. It's black, you can get it at a parts store. It's probably the best rear cover gasket material going. That stuff stop anything from leaking. So would recommend that. Okay, number four, seal surface. Say you got an S10 with 150,000 miles on it, and this axle is just worn down. You know, that that axle's been riding on that seal surface for 150,000 miles or something, and the axle needs replaced. If you see a groove there, you see some pits there, you see problems in that seal surface, probably time to replace that axle because it's never going to seal properly. So that's kind of an easy one. You pull the axle out, you see a bunch of problems with the, with the seal, seal surface on the axle, stuff like that going on time to replace the axle shaft. Okay, number five, leaking rear end. Is it gear oil or is it a bearing? Because sometimes you get that bluish blackish bearing grease coming out, seeping out of a housing end or something. It's like, you gotta figure out, is it the bearing going bad or is that gear oil coming out of there? 
you just got to figure out, you got to take a look at what's coming out. If you want to send us a picture, see what our opinion is, we can take a look at it, go from there. But that's something to consider is the bearing that needs replaced, the seal that needs replaced, axle needs replaced. What is, what is the actual substance coming out? Bearing grease, gear wheel, what is it? Because it could be a bearing going out. So these are probably going to be your top five reasons why a rear would be leaking. Uh, building pressure, uh, a messed up seal, possibly in, during installation, you know, a torn seal got cut on a burr on the housing end, whatever it may be. Uh, rear cover gasket leaking, I uh, like to rough up them services, get that gasket with a little bit of high temp RTV on both sides, go around the holes all real well. That's going to be essential to keeping that from leaking. Seal surface on the axle shaft itself, inspect the axle and then finally inspecting the bearings. So if you have any questions on this, want to give us a call, 260-301-2424. We appreciate your support. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe. Catch you on the next video. Have a good day.